Another interstate shooting in Memphis that's caused massive traffic tie-ups. Police say road rage is to blame. This latest shooting happened just before 2 o'clock at I-40 near the Jackson exit. A man told police that a man in a black Nissan fired rounds into their car. One woman was injured from broken glass. She was taken to Methodist North and is expected to be okay. It's the latest in a string of road rage shootings that has drivers on edge. Local 24 News reporter Rebecca Butcher live along I-40 tonight. Rebecca. Yeah, good afternoon. Well, bullets and driving, it's enough to scare just about anyone. According to witnesses today here on I-40, gunfire was the result of someone, they say, being cut off. Today I spoke with law enforcement and also drivers about what you should do if it happens. Terrifying. I mean, somebody is shooting. You don't know where the bullets are going. That's what three people in this Toyota experienced on I-40 near the Jackson exit Tuesday afternoon. A man in the car called police saying someone in a black Nissan fired at them. We have people that have guns and, you know, it's like a wild, wild west here now. Sarah Clark, a school bus driver, is thankful no one was shot. Police tell us one woman was taken to the hospital injured from shattered glass. Witnesses told police the shooter may have been cut off. Driver I talk with say they are worried for their safety. You're afraid that they're coming toward you. So, I mean, do you pull to the curve? Do you jump out of your car and take off running? A Memphis police colonel tells Local 24 what drivers should do when bullets fly. First, identify where the gunfire is coming from and go in the opposite direction. And if you need to stop, pull into an emergency lane with your hazards on. I would just avoid it. Just we go get away from it if I have to speed up or do anything that I have to do just to get away from it, especially if I have my kids with me. There have been at least a dozen road rage incidents in the last six months, including one last Christmas Eve. A three-year-old was shot in the neck in Midtown Memphis, the doors of the car covered with bullet holes. We need stiffer penalties for those that carry weapons and shoot. Yeah, and remember, police still need your help right now. They're still looking for the suspect in this incident. They describe him as a black male, last seen wearing a white T-shirt and also a black baseball cap. He might be still driving in that black Nissan, possibly in Altima, according to police. If you can help, you're urged to contact Crime Stoppers. The number, 901-528-CASH. For now, live along I-40, I'm Rebecca Butcher, Local 24 News.